The Sola Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 4, Thursday Evening, Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2a. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3b. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The readings. Our Lord teaches on prayer, how and how not to pray. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 33. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain, and prayed unto the Lord. Matthew chapter 6, verses 5-8 through 8. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. The second reading, 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 3 and 4. Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, which is before Jordan, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, and neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, Take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The third reading. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not said God before them. Say law. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. The last reading, 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed, and in truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Let us pray. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing, 
But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9b through 13. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause now and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying for all of us, so that our faith is always genuine and never for show. A plea for mercy. Luke chapter 18, verse 13b. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Psalm 3, verse 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 11, verse 33. O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and his ways past finding out! Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.